Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbets here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at JetBoost. You may not have heard of this program, the company is new, Blue Sprig. They have another program called JetClean which does a nice job of cleaning temporary files off your computer and getting it to run a little faster. This program works a little similar to IOBIT Game Booster except that we've got the work mode, the game mode, and the custom mode. It, I've had no problems using this thing. As you can tell, it's probably a similar layout if you've used something like it before where you can just go through and look at your processes. For example, we're in work mode to make sure that nothing is checked that I might want. For example, I'm running Camtasia to record this now. Obviously, I'm in work mode. I wouldn't want to disable that or my web browser, etc. And you can just go through and make sure there are no problems here. For the most part, you can just, like a lot of software, just run it out of the box. Just go boom, start to boost. That's it. It tells you where your performance increase is and it tells you 12 services were stopped, a simple click to restore and you're back. It's actually that easy. It's free. For the games, exact same thing. You can run through your processes, make sure there's anything in here that maybe you would want to disable. For example, I might not want my web browser running, uh, I might not want my RSS reader running, etc. As you can see, once I did that, it brought me over to custom mode, in which case now you, once you start, you really want to go through everything as long as you're here. Not a big deal, but once again, I just come back to game, leave it the way it is, hit start to boost, go off, play my games, do what I want to do, bring it back whenever I'm done. That is it. It's that simple, very similar to the other programs you've used. I've had no problems with it. Very, very stable. Uh, we'll take a quick look at settings. However, I don't think you need to do much here. You have your basic general settings. Start with Windows, which is great if you want to use it all the time. Your service list, which will actually open it up in Notepad for you. Your automatic update, which is already checked for updates once you launch. And a couple of interface options. You can change the transparency so it doesn't you know, intrude on what you're doing. And the language support is excellent, and they're looking for more languages all the time. As you can see, Bulgarian, French, Dutch, Japanese, Polish, etc., etc. And that is it. It's as simple as that. It's a great way to free up services, free up processes. For a computer that's having a little trouble chugging along, maybe you're editing some graphics or, or editing some video or just playing some games, you need just a little bit more of a boost. Programs like this work great. Give it a shot. The link is in the description in the YouTube video, and we'll see you next time.